What's going on guys? So <laughs> the topic of today's video is actually going to be what you're looking at in front of you, completely kind of unboxed, unpackaged and removed from the palette. But you know, I think it uh, it's definitely worth showing you how well the folks from Celaton package their equipment. So first of all, this came via freight. So it was an 18 wheeler that pulled up on the property and delivered this. Uh, they would have lowered it to the ground and moved it where I wanted. But since I have forks for the tractor, I just put the forks on instead. Um, this wood, which is all plywood, is wrapped around everything. These were stacked on top of each other. It was covered in this. It was banded together and then they put a packing blanket over the whole thing and then covered it and banded it all together with that. Uh, incredibly well packaged for something that's being delivered via freight. Um, you know, if you ship something like this via FedEx or things like that, you know, you do run the higher risk of it getting damaged because it's typically going to be maybe on a standard like FedEx truck and the process of moving it in and out is going to be generally one person trying to do all of that. But man, just check this out. This is packaged so well. And uh, yeah, we're going to get the rest of this taken off the pallet, get all this stuff cleared out of the way. And we're going to show you what's inside of these two super large steel rolling cases. I think you're going to definitely want to watch this because this is going to add a tremendous amount of really relevant content to my channel. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so you were looking at something that I think a lot of viewers probably have already figured out that the folks over at Celaton make or manufacture. This thing is really, really cool. So before we go any further, uh, I wanna talk about why I have this in front of me and what this system's all about. So uh, a little while back, you guys saw a video where I showcased a Celaton platform scale. Essentially, it's a scale that can hold up to 10,000 pounds or weigh up to 10,000 pounds in two pound increments, or at least it's accurate up to two pounds. And, uh, and you know, they sent it to me for, I'm not gonna say review and evaluation. They sent it to me specifically so I could use it on the channel to show you guys how important weight is and what things actually weigh. So it's not necessarily something that was sponsored. It's more or less, you know, they saw the topics of my channel and how my channel focuses so much on weight and they wanted to get involved. So we uh, we talked and we determined that, you know, the best way to do that would be to showcase some of their scales and how their scales can actually be applied to show you all what things actually weigh. Now, what you're looking at in front of you, or at least half of uh, what you're looking at in front of you, is this really, really cool portable weigh pad scale system. This is absolutely amazing. These scales each are 16 by 24 inches. There's four of them. So I've unboxed this one right here, and there are two more scales along with cords in this package right here. And you can see they roll around on these really cool little dollies, so you can move them around where you need to. Now, do not be mistaken, these are not lightweight. Each one of these cases, I'm gonna to venture to say weighs well over 100 pounds whenever you factor in the case itself as well as the scales that are inside. This is the type of system that law enforcement might keep in the back of their Tahoe whenever they pull truckers over to determine if they're overweight or they simply wanna look at what the trucker claims to be carrying and how much it claims to weigh and then they'll use something like this to determine what it actually weighs to see if there might be something extra hidden inside of a, a container. All that said, uh, let's go over the details of this. Now, I was planning on actually using it today but the sun is starting to set on me and they arrived really late. They actually arrived uh, just about an hour and a half ago. So I haven't had much of a chance to actually put these things to use yet. But I do want to go over what's included because this is pretty cool. First of all, this is a 100,000 pound rated system. So if I pull all four of these scales out, I have the ability to weigh a vehicle up to 100,000 pounds. That is insane. And it all goes to this display right here which is in this really cool ruggedized case that gives me the ability to kind of carry this with me, plug everything into it, and get a combined weight of the four scales that are included. Now, it's calibrated to four scales. You could calibrate this to one individual scale if you wanted, and this could arguably be kind of a, a similar system to the platform scale that I showed you before if you got the display calibrated with only one of the scales. Now, this is really cool because this is not just a display. This is also a printer. So this portion right here is the printing part of it. So if you are gonna weigh something and you actually wanna get like a printed slip to show how much it weighs for verification or just so you can compare it later if you have a short memory, things like that, you have the ability to actually print what the weights are through the actual case right here with that printer. 
That is super, super cool. You can also get other attachments to it, like a scoreboard. What's a scoreboard? Well, it's a scoreboard. You put it up on a wall, so whenever you drive vehicles over this, let's say you're working at a manufacturing plant or somewhere where there's constantly going to be trucks or vehicles moving over these, a scoreboard would give you a readout that's very visible externally so people can see what a vehicle weighs as it rolls over the scale, which is really cool. Um, just all sorts of crazy customization with this thing. So each one of these pads has six load cells built into them. Um, each one weighs 55 pounds. So very, very, uh, very heavy weight. These are not lightweight devices. They are portable and they're actually made out of a material that you might not think given their weight. So these are actually made out of high strength aluminum. So because of their weight, a lot of people automatically assume they're going to be made out of steel. But no, these things have to be strong enough to be able to support the weight of a semi-tractor or something that could easily weigh upwards of 100,000 pounds distributed amongst four of them. And as a lot of people know, a 100,000 pound combined weight doesn't necessarily mean 100,000 pounds evenly dispersed, right? If you have a, a vehicle that's extremely heavily loaded and you're going to have this under the rear axles, well, one scale may be carrying a lot more weight than the other. So they have to build these so they're robust enough to be able to support support that weight, even if some of that weight is isolated in a greater amount to just one of the scales or two of the scales. So uh, each one of these is going to have a 33 foot long metal shielded cable. You can see two cables here, which go to these two scales. There's two more cables inside of this case right here. So you'll have four in total and each one's 33 feet long. So you have the ability and flexibility to move where you need to move if you're going to be using this. Two year warranty on the platforms and one year on the electronics. Uh, what they claim these are really ideal for are going to be like multi-channel weighing, axle pads, truck scales, boat weighing, um, you know, trailer weighing. Really any type of application where you need to have an individual scale placed where an axle is going to be or where a tire is going to be placed on it. So that's really cool. Now, these are not inexpensive. Well, let me take that back. Inexpensive and expensive is so relative of a term. It is related specifically to the thing that you're trying to get and what you believe the cost should be for that thing. So as a normal consumer with a normal garage who might have a twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollar RV and you know a, a, a mid trim package pickup truck, then this is probably going to be considered terribly expensive unless you just want the cool factor of having something like this. Now, if you have you know a DRV or a Lux with equipment that you feel is is important for your specific application, you're willing to spend more, obviously. So I honestly believe that whenever you look at the cost of something like this, where to some people it would be extremely expensive, even to myself, this would be absolutely insanely expensive for me to buy, um, but it's very relevant to my channel. And that's why I appreciate partners like the folks at Celaton so much because they see the value in providing something like this to me at no financial cost because I get to use this on the channel and feature it in a way that lets you see relevant information while using a brand that wants to get their brand out there. So it's, it's a win-win, right? This is absolutely relevant to the type of content I produce on my channel, which is really, really phenomenal. But again, there's gonna be folks out there who look at the price of something like this and they're gonna be like, that's that's a bargain. That's what I've been looking for. That's what I want. Maybe not this exact setup. They might just want two of them. Um, they may not want the case. They may not want something that's considered, you know, an upgraded component to this. They might just want a small piece of it and it's easy for them to justify the cost. But for a lot of folks, this is gonna be very, very expensive and possibly cost prohibitive for them because of their specific application. So it really comes down to you, your use case, how you plan on using it, but more importantly, what you consider to be important in terms of you know, financial justification. Same reason people will spend twenty to $30,000 more on a higher trim pickup truck over a lower trim pickup truck because the things in that higher trim pickup truck are important to them. I guess that's kind of relative to everything, right? Somebody might want to buy a $150 trailer hitch. Somebody might buy a $700 trailer hitch. They both do the same thing. They both may very well have the same rating, but somebody obviously wants the more expensive one because they're justifying the cost for what they're using it for. Anyways, all that said, uh, this has an MSRP of like $6,900 dollars like almost seven thousand dollars and they typically sell it for about forty five hundred dollars so it's a lot less expensive than the typical msrp um, but this again is very relevant because if i want to use this in conjunction with like the uh the the scale that they sent me before i could throw the scale in the back of my pickup truck and put these under the four tires on the rv and i can get a total rv weight 
cat scale style total RV weight. Think about that. That is super cool. If I host an RV meetup, which I'm actually considering doing at some point, finding a really, really beautiful area, let you guys know about a year in advance so we can talk about RVs and have really, really great conversations about trucks and towing and all of that stuff so we can understand how weight is impacted when you add things or remove things from your RV. When you get a travel trailer and you truly add it to the back of your vehicle. This is really cool because let's say we put this on a pickup truck and we really wanna see the effects of weight distribution. When we put a weight distribution itch and we're moving weight around, we're distributing weight, where that weight actually goes. A lot of people believe when you get a weight distribution hitch, weight disappears. Somehow you've removed weight. No, you've distributed that weight. Weight is going somewhere else, whether it's to the front axle of your truck, whether it's to the back axle of your RV, whether it's to both of the axles on your RV or both of the axles on your vehicle. It's not just disappearing. And having a system like this can really give you the information that you need to be sure that you understand what is safe and what's not safe and how you should make changes to things. So. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this and this is super cool. And I'm absolutely gonna to try to find every use case I can to be able to show you what this is capable of providing in terms of information. Anyways, guys, I'll put a link in the description to the folks over at Celaton. Huge shout out. You guys already know that they've they've been such a big supporter of the channel here recently by providing one scale before and now providing this really, really awesome system that a lot of people probably didn't even know existed. They thought cat scales were the only way to get this type of information. I believe law enforcement have been using these things for a while, but I'm super excited because the things that I talk about in my channel are typically trucks, RV reviews, towing safety, towing information, but a big segment that I always try to focus on is safe towing. And it's always good to know what things actually weigh. And surprisingly enough, I think a lot of viewers are typically shocked when they actually see what things weigh. And you understand how that can impact how you tow and how you have, uh, and how weight is moved around and what happens to your vehicle whenever you add weight to it or your RV. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. I just wanted to give a big shout out to the folks at Celaton, show you what came. Um, again, big, big shout out to them for providing this for, uh, for use on my channel at no financial cost to me, which is really, really awesome. And yeah, definitely uh, check them out if you're looking for scales if you have a business and you're considering getting a scale for your business for whatever you might need to use it for definitely a place that i would recommend guys if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up we'll talk to you again very soon